Hello everybody, it is I, Brandon Wynn, back again with D&D and Me, and I found a pretty interesting, cool little uh, creature here that uh, has a lot of shit. Why the fuck did I choose this? It has a lot of stuff on it. It's called a Spectral Raven, and it's an undead, so it goes along with Dreadful... I think I called it Dreadful. I don't remember. I'm going to continue with Dreadful. Uh, dreadful December. So, like I stated in like my very first... Uh, Nightmare November. I kind of got lazy and didn't really do anything, so I'm going to keep going along with the undead theme into December. So I'm going to be making some videos on undead for December. And the first one is called the Spectral Raven, like I said. Just to get straight into it, the Spectral Raven is a small undead and chaotic evil. It has an armor class of 14, hit point average of 98, 28d6, and it has um, it doesn't have a, a walking speed, but it has a flight speed or hover speed, technically, of 60 feet. <coughs> I would say give it like a 10-foot walking speed, because it literally is walking in this photo. Uh, it has a strength of 5 feet. Or strength of 5 feet. Strength of 5 minus 3. has a dex of 19 plus 4. Constitution of 10 plus 0. Intelligence is 6 minus 2. Wisdom is is a 15 plus 2 and a charisma of 16 plus 3. It's vulnerable to radiant and it's resistant to acid, cold, fire, lightning, thunder, and bludgeoning, piercing, and slashing from non-magical attacks. It's immune to necrotic and poison. It's immune to being charmed, exhausted, grappled, paralyzed, petrified, poisoned, prone, restrained, and unconscious. That's a new one. It has dark vision up to 60 feet and a fast perception of 12. It understands all languages but cannot speak it's a challenge rating 9, 5,000 experience points. Now, it has several abilities here. It has draining form, four times uh, a turn. What the fuck? Four times a turn? What the hell? If the Spectral Raven moves through an, another creature's turn, or a creature's space on its turn, can force that creature to make a DC 15 constitution saving throw, so that makes sense why it says four. On a failed save, the creature takes 14 average, 4d6 necrotic da uh, damage, and its hit point maximum is reduced by the same amount equal to the damage. On a successful save, the creature takes half as much damage and its hit point maximum isn't reduced. This reduction lasts until the creature finishes a long rest. The target dies if the effect reduces its hit point maximum to zero. Spectral Raven can't use its draining form and life drain against the same target on the same on the same turn. And it can't use its draining form on the same creature, creature more than once. So basically you can only use this ability on four different creatures and then its attacks on one creature. So it only has really five uh, five attacks of, or five abilities to have an attack if you really look at it that way. Uh, incorporeal movement. The Spectral Raven can move through other creatures and objects if it, as if it were difficult terrain. It takes 5 average, 1d10 force damage if it ends its turn inside of an object. Like most things. Uh, looming Presence. If the Spectral Raven doesn't move or take any actions on its turn, creatures other than undead within 60 feet of the Raven who are aware of it must succeed on a DC 15 charisma saving throw against the magic or be charmed by the Raven for one minute. Sorry, I'm trying not to cough and that surprised me. <coughs> Well, while charmed in this manner, a creature is stunned, falls prone, and can't stand. So they just kind of lock up and fall. Uh, in there. At the end of each of its turns, a creature can can repeat the saving throw, ending the effects on itself on success. It's like being tased by a taser. That shit sucks. Never again. Probably again. I don't want to do it again. While in sunlight, the Spectral Raven has disadvantage on attack rolls, as well as perception checks that rely on sight. The abilities, or the attacks. Life Drain, melee weapon attack, plus 8 to hit. Reach of 5 feet, 1 creature only, 7 average, 2d6 necrotic damage. And the target must succeed on DC 15 constitution saving throw. Uh, or its hit point maximum is reduced by the amount equal to the damage taken. This reduction lasts until it finishes a long rest. Obviously, if it, it dies until it hits 0. Uh, and it has an ability called Death's Echo. Recharges on a d6 roll, 4 through 6. The Spectral Raven emits a soul-chilling cry, inducing unnatural despair. Creatures other than undead within 60 feet of the Raven that can hear it must succeed on a DC 15 charisma saving throw against the magic or be frightened for one minute. At the end of each of its turns, a creature can repeat the saving throw, ending the, success, uh, ending the effect on, a, on itself on a success. I don't know why the hell I was stuttering through that so much. The little bit of lore, I don't know why it's at the very end of it. Uh, the Spectral Raven is an enigma. 
as it's seemingly not the soul of a once mortal creature, its cry induces supernatural terror, but perhaps worse. The very presence of the raven is enough to drive living creatures to paroxysms, paroxysms? Proximums, I have to look that word up, of grief and apathy from which they may never recover. Scholars speculate that the phenomena is formed of stray astral essence corrupted by the same magical disturbances for which form more common specters or else a collective of rent souls somewhat akin to a wraith. Whatever the case, the raven is, a, is silent on the matter. And there's just like this little note that's written by like a character, in, uh, I guess. And it says, it is only in the final piece we perhaps begin to understand the artist's mind. At this point, towards the end of the war, Lanira began to confide in the few friends she had disturbing dreams which had haunted her for months. When asked for clarification, she would say no more than, the raven, the raven. Popular myth states, with the final breath strokes, committed her to mentor, her tormentor to canvas. Lanira died on the spot and was found with the expression of content and peace unknown to her in life. Romantic as the idea may be, reports from the time ins instead note face of exquisite terror, an unhappy end, it would seem, to a short, unhappy life. Zanara Tillavane, art curator on Zan Lanira's Raven. So it looks like uh, the lore of this is that it was created by a poor dead woman. Or a dying woman of some sort who was haunted by the raven, painted it down, and decided to fuck everyone over. Uh, probably not the first occasion of it, but thanks, Lanira. Thank you for being one for the team and fucking the world. Anyways, I actually really like this little creature, even though it made me talk a lot. This is, um, <laughs> I like this. Anyways, thank you all for watching, and I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Why the fuck does my camera do that? Anyways, uh, I'm going to have to figure it out. But I hope you guys enjoy yourselves, and please leave a like and subscribe, and comment down below if you'd like to see anything, or if you have any comments about anything. And, uh, I have three more videos to do, just three more. Anyways, see you guys in the next video. Peace.